Internet, good morning. Daybreak Sum 48 coming back at you guys with yet again another discussion video. Today, we're going to be talking about whether or not you as a fellow collector should be investing in this line from SH Figure Arts. Now, as you guys can clearly see, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the Street Fighter line from the SH Figure Arts lineup. Now, you guys can clearly see that I have probably, oh, I definitely have 99% of the figures that have been released up to date. The only character that I am missing is a character by the name of Rashid. Now, the reason why I didn't pick this one up is because I really didn't know much about the character and didn't care for it. Now, honestly, if I wanted to go pick it up today, could I? The answer is yes, because they're relatively still available uh, and pretty cheap if you find them on sales from Bluefin or Amazon, eBay, stuff like that. Now, the way we're gonna, I guess, proceed with this discussion video is, first, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the pros of the lineup. Second, we're gonna talk about the cons. And then to wrap things up, we're gonna just kinda of give you my closing thoughts on it and that's that. So here we go, the pros. What is good about this SH Figure Arts lineup? Why should you collect? Well, for those of you guys who like a smaller scale, and for those of you guys who are like, Daybreak, can you give me like an example? How small are these? Well, if I put, the Storm Collectibles can, next to Ryu and all the other characters, you could see that the Storm Collectibles figures towers, towers over these characters. Now, if I want to put, for example, a Marvel Legends character, honestly, it can work sorta if you kind of manipulate the pose. So if you guys wanted to do like an, uh, a Capcom versus Marvel, that kind of thing, then you could pull it off you just have to work with like the i guess uh the the pose but it's still these guys are a little bit smaller for sure but if you guys like this scale then this is a must get now honestly on um, the articulation is fantastic you could pretty much get all, all these characters into their most iconic poses yes you will need a flight stand for it but um, that's besides the point. The sculpt work is top notch. Honestly, um, when it comes to this line, some of the gripes that people had with it was the fact that they're a little bit too animated um, compared to like the, the game models. But honestly, if you could look past that, these figures are amazing to look at. Look at it here. I mean, they look freaking phenomenal together. You can get them in a group pose like this, or you could get them in like one-on-one -on -one battling situations because they also include backdrops. Now these backdrops aren't that great because they're made out of cardboard, but still, you could get them in some dynamic poses and make them look like you're actually seeing them in the game. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Another thing that SH Figure Arts is known for is the amount of accessories. Now, I'm not gonna say they're gonna be giving you a butt ton of accessories, but they give you a decent amount. They give you different interchangeable hands. They give you effect pieces for, for example, for Ryu, the Hadouken. They give you Chung Li's kick effects. Uh, freaking my guy right here. He has the freaking electric, uh, electric effect piece of Chung Li getting zapped, but it's like this clear plastic, so it looks freaking phenomenal. I mean, I love it. You name it, you can pretty much recreate whatever scene you like with these particular characters. Articulation, sculpt, amount of accessories, and the availability is pretty much spot on. Now, the cons. What, what am I worried about? Well, honestly, not much when it comes to this. Like I said, the one minor gripe that people had with this line was that they look a little bit too animated. But besides that, they look perfect. The only thing that I am worried about when it comes to the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter lineup is their longevity. Now, you might be like, Daybreak, what the heck are you talking about? Well, 
For those of you guys who don't know, SH Figure Arts is a company that does phenomenal things like I just f mentioned. However, they are kind of wishy-washy. The SH Figure Arts first originally started off with like Kamen Rider and Super Sentai. The Super Sentai line, the Power Rangers line for those of you guys who are here in the States, um, went for a very long time. They gave us a crazy amount of different characters and that's why people love them. But they kind of just stopped. Then they started the Dragon Ball line. And to this date, the Dragon Ball line is going on extremely strong. I mean, they make world the Dragon Ball world tours and they just have huge events for these figures. So, hey, that's one aspect of them continuing the line and pumping out figure after figure after figure. Then we have the SH Figure Arts Naruto line, which was a complete disaster. I mean, they were doing great, they were doing fine, or apparently it looked like they were doing fine, but then all of a sudden, poof, they were gone. And they just stopped creating characters. Kinda sad. For Street Fighter, it from, I guess you can see the date when I post this video. So yeah, up until this point, the line has been pretty solid. They would release two characters, about two characters per year. And so we've gotten to this point right here. The Street Fighter line itself is actually very young compared to all the other, I guess, um, um, titles or licenses that SH Figure Arts has. But like I said, they're doing what they need to. For example, as you guys can see, these are the characters that we have currently. Vega was the newest one that was released. And um, this new year, this year 2020, we're gonna be expecting Sagat, which is a heavy hitter, which I'm pretty sure most people will be picking up if they are a Street Fighter fan, and M. Bison, which is another heavy hitter. So if we continue this trend, and if we see, or if we keep getting these figures, these characters, I can see this line going on for as long as maybe even the soda line. Now, for those of you guys who are like, soda line, what, what are you talking about? What is soda? Soda used to be a company or a brand that pumped out Street Fighter figures. It was atrocious to look at, but I guess for the time it was pretty okay. But if you compare these guys with the soda figures, uh, these guys just look so much better. But still, what did Soda do that was really great? They pumped out character after character after character after character. Once they've pumped out all these characters, they started releasing player two versions of those characters, player three versions, et cetera, et cetera. And it was phenomenal. Unfortunately for me, I wasn't around when it came to um, the Soda line. If I was, I think I would have uh, went crazy with that. And don't get me wrong, it's not like they were gone uh, or these figures are ancient. No, it just means that I wasn't collecting at the time. But if I was collecting, I would have eaten that crap up all day, every day, because it was freaking awesome. So, like I said, the only thing I am concerned about with this line is their longevity. If SH Figure Arts can promise me that this line will continue, then this is a must get because the price point, it's not that bad. Now for a highly articulated, highly um, detailed, well-painted, ton or well, decent amount of accessories it's going for around 50 to like i guess 50 to 70 dollars and it depends on i guess the scale of the figure but that's what the going rate is for these imported figures so it's not bad so would i recommend it the answer is hell yeah if you guys are a street fighter fan 
you want the articulation you want the highly detailed uh, fully painted all that good stuff then this line is a must get if you're worried about the longevity give it w one more i guess year because honestly these guys still to this date are still available on places like big bad toy store and their values haven't gone up like other figures would so you could still find the chung lee figure the ryu the kami the ken uh, all of these characters as a matter of fact on big bad toy store on or in barnes and noble at i don't know think geek GameStop, you name it, they are literally flooded everywhere. Now, would I recommend waiting any longer than maybe a year? You might be risking it at that point, but still, honestly, I think they're going to be around. And if that's the case, it might be a line worth investing your money in, especially if you want these awesome, awesome displays. So with that said, it's up to you guys. Do you want to collect the Street Fighter line from SH Figure Arts? Well, I gave you all the pros and cons, so now it's up to you. So good luck, happy hunting, and with that said, this is Daybreak Sum 48, and I am signing out. Peace.